this is a really exciting day for us, um, an opportunity to introduce our, uh, our new head women's basketball coach. A couple of people I want to make sure and thank who were really instrumental in the process along the way. Um, Bruce Drew, Drew Marichello, our deputy athletic director, who organized and searched for us. Uh, Laura, Molly, I want to thank you guys for all the work you did administratively to keep all these candidates coming in and, and moving out, keeping one here. <laughs> Uh, and everybody else, our student athletes, we have two of them here today who were, uh, I had conversations with throughout the process, so thank you girls for being a part of things. Uh, and I want to thank Katie and her husband John, who's here, uh, for, uh, for deciding to join us here at BU. Uh, this was a uh, really intense six weeks. We went through a national search, and I, I know we've said national search before, and we've plucked somebody from down the street. Uh, we actually did do a national search this time and took somebody from Oregon or California and brought her all the way across the, uh, across the country to Boston. So we're, we're, we're really excited to have Katie here. Um, her playing experience is uh, it's second to none. Um, she played at Stanford. She was an All-American player at Stanford. Uh, won a gold medal on the 1996 Olympic team. Played in the WNBA for a number of different years and on a few different teams and uh, really established herself as one of the premier players in college basketball. Uh, and as a coach, she's also really distinguished herself. And for, from our perspective, that was the most important thing for us. We really wanted to find the absolute right person for the job at, the time, at this time at BU, and I, I think we've done that. Uh, she's been head coach. Uh, she's been at a variety of different institutions, small and large. She's been at private schools. She's been at public institutions, uh, most recently at the University of California where she served as an assistant for the last two years. Uh, and she has been very, very successful throughout her career. Not only playing career, but also her coaching career. Uh, her team at Cal in 2012 went to the Final Four. Uh, and that's an, that's an important thing for all of us here to, uh, to take a look at as well, because uh, one of the key ingredients of having a job here at Boston University is, is being successful. And somebody who comes from that kind of background, I think she's going to bring a uh, level of excellence and a level of intensity and level of understanding of the game and of our student athletes and of our institution that's really going to help you grow women's basketball here at BU. So I'm really proud to uh, to be able to uh, announce to you today uh, Katie Stedding's formal hiring, I guess, and, uh, and introduce her to everyone here, give her a chance to say a few words. But uh, before I do that, I want to be sure and, uh, and get a picture. Um, we did use number 11. This was Katie's number oh, on, the, on the Olympic so team. Uh, so we, we dug this up. Thanks to Brian Kelly. So, you know, awesome. Let's get a picture here. You know. Awesome. All right. Thank you. I just, I have a ton of thank yous to say to you, but I will say um, to open up that um, when I saw the job open in Boston, um, I was thrilled. I called John immediately and said, um, Boston's open. Um, I was like, are you ready? <laughs> this is, I, I gotta go for this. Um, and I, I was excited because of Boston's reputation as a school academically. Uh, the rigorous academic year, uh, the challenges that the students face. Um, I was excited about the move to the Patriot League. That was very exciting to me. Um, but I told those two, Mike and Drew, probably 18 million times. I don't know if you kept track, but how much I love Boston as a city. Um, I, I fell in love with it when I was a student in, in college, uh, and I kind of had this um, excitement about Boston my whole life, and so. Uh, just seemed like a great opportunity. Uh, but that's just on the surface. That's really just on the surface. Those are the things that you know everybody wants when you're coaching, when you're looking for your first job and everything like that. What really drew me in as I got to know these two and as I made calls to Joe Jones and um, other people that knew the school and the environment here was really you guys. <laughs> um, the warmth that everyone has shown me since I first got here uh, the camaraderie that this place displays on a daily basis is genuine. It's not something that is, you know, a tagline at the bottom of the page uh, when we talk about the athletics. It's real, and it feels great to finally be here and be a part of that. So, 
I'm very excited about that. I too want to thank some people. First and foremost, John, my husband. We, uh, that, sorry. <laughs> um, thanks for sticking with me through this. Yeah. I'm finally here. Um, and Mike and Drew, especially Drew. Thank you so much for your diligence, your, your forthrightness, and everything. Um, the process here was a little long, <laughs> but um, I'm so glad that this worked out. Um, I'm just, I didn't get out of the motion. You'll get used to that, I guess, it happens. Uh, but um, I also want to thank um, Joe for teaching me kind of um, on the backside of how, how BU works and how you guys really operate with each other, which is, um, like I said, not just not just a tagline. It's, it, is, it is a real family. Um, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. Other people I want to say a special thank you to Nancy Bell. She not here. She yeah, okay. has some stuff to do. Uh, my two little buddies in the front office there, Molly and Laura. Thanks for like wandering us around, taking care of us, and making us feel like we really belong here. Uh, the moment that we got here. And uh, and then these two ladies, who have been really fabulous. Um, only been here a few days, but we've already gotten some workouts in. Rah rah! <laughs> and uh, I'm excited that the team's going to be here on Sunday. They're moving in, ready for session two, and we're ready to get everything and get down to work. Staff in place quite yet, but they're on their way. Uh, and I think everybody will be really excited to hear um, some of the uh, new staff members that will be coming in to join us. Well, I think the things that led me to BU were um, obviously the academic situation here is really challenging, and I think that's a great proving ground for, for kids. Um, obviously, the, the, ter uh, the, the Terriers being in the Patriot League um, is, is another big draw. And then the city of Boston is something, a place that I've loved almost my entire adult life. Um, wanted to live here at some point, and, and this was a great opportunity. And um, then when I met people here and talked to them about being part of um, the Terrier family, I was, you know, I was really drawn in, <laughs> and it was and it was really great. And and I and I just love it here. Change of scenery has been great. Um, I, the adjustment here has really just been. Um, the minute that I wake up, I'm doing something about basketball. <laughs> the minute that I finally go to sleep at night, I'm doing something else about basketball. <laughs> so I um, haven't really had a whole lot of time yet to explore the city. But um, hopefully after recruiting is kind of the, uh, the, the July recruiting is over, um, then I'll be able to explore a little bit more and, and take John out and show him the sights because he has not seen anything here. So it's really, it's really exciting. I think BU fans can expect our team to be really, really um, active in the full court. Uh, we'll, we'll press a little bit, but uh, I think mostly they're going to see a team that wants to be really up-tempo, run. Uh, I like layups and threes, and uh, then we'll try and do some stuff in between that.